Hey guys, today I have two gacha crates here from Gacha Crate. And I have the October 2016 Kawaii Crate and December 2016 Kakkoi Crate. And Kawaii means cute and Kakkoi means handsome. The lovely people at Gacha Crate emailed me and said they had a few boxes left over and would love to send them to me so I could review them for you guys because they know, you know, that I love gachas and you guys love gachas too. That didn't make any sense, did it? Anyway, here we go. Here are the, let's see, 10 different gachas. This one has candy in it and this one has a toy in it. We'll take a look at those later. I'm just gonna zoom this by really quickly so you don't really see, but it has a list of the different gachas inside with details, but we will not look at that because we like to be surprised. I love that it comes with this little felt background that gives it so much color. Alrighty then, let's get started, shall we? Let's check out the kakoi crate first because I'm more interested in the kawaii crate because I like cute things, but I do really like that you have the option to pick from kawaii or kakoi. So, let's start with this big one here. Here we go. It looks like it is Doko Demo Game Collection. Games anywhere. And it looks like it's Super Mario from the Wii U game. These can keep you occupied. Wait, where am I supposed to start? Start here and try to get to the top. Sorry you guys are looking at it upside down. There's probably a glare, isn't there? <laughs> Goal! Oh, I went to the other side. Or did it? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. So it has two sides. That's confusing. <laughs> There's the first one. Uh huh. One of the capsules that I do not like. Because I do not know how to open them. Here we go. What is this? Oh, it's Yokai Watch! What is it? Toritsuki mascot. Here, sorry, I'm holding it upside down. Let's look and see what this is. Oh, it's Komasan! My favorite! I sound like a crazy person, don't I? It's a little magnet! Komasan! That's pretty cute. Let's see what other ones they have. Can you guys see? They have Bushinyan or, um, what's his English name? Not Samurai Nyan. Um, I can't remember now. But they have a lot of cute ones. Shogun Yan, that's what it is. Why couldn't I remember that? <laughs> that's the second one. Let's check out the third one. This one's actually pretty heavy. Sorry, I wasn't in focus there. This is Fantasy Star Online, episode one and two, second edition. Is Fantasy Star Online a game or an anime? It sounds really familiar. Oh, it's a figure of some sort. Let's put it together. I'm super lost. I think I got this one put together. I'm not sure about this one. There are actually a few pieces left, but I'm so lost. I have no clue what these are supposed to look like, but I kind of got this one put together and this one I think I did too. Here we have a Bandai Gashapon. Lots of tape wrapped around it. It is ultra... Sumiya Swing, okay, Ultraman. Oh wow, that's creepy. So far, I only know Koma-san. Well, I guess I know Mario from the Kakkoi box. That is creepy. I'm assuming this is a bad guy. It's a huge eyeball. I mean, it's made really well. The detail's amazing, but it's just a little bit scary to me. One more for the Kakkoi box. What is this? Oh, it's The Legend of Zelda. I have not played The Legend of Zelda in years. The last one I played was for the DS Lite. What one would that have been? Oh, it's a pin! How cool! I know that there are a lot of Legend of Zelda fans out there though, so I bet this would be highly appreciated. Let's see, what one is this one? This is the Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword, I think. Or is it the Ocarina of Time? No, it's the Skyward Sword. Cool, so there are different designs. And I could see this being a thing because this pin is really nice. It's really good quality. I collect Disney pins, but this is just as nice. It is domed over on the front with a type of resin. Super, super good quality. So that was the Kakaoi crate. I kind of made a mess. Now, I'm really excited for the Kawaii crate because I think there's going to be some cuteness in here. Let's check this big one out first. It looks like grass to me, so... I'm very, very curious. 
I think it literally is grass though. It says my miniature garden. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. It is literally a little garden. They have different animals here. Let's see which one I have. I think I got the little pig. Doesn't that look like a pig? It's super light. I think it's just styrofoam or something on the inside. And then it has a little stand to go with it. And it's shedding everywhere. Oh my goodness. Literally everywhere. I'm putting you back. Idea was cute. This is not Gotcha Crate's fault. It is... Who made this? Oh, they didn't put their company name on here. They don't want people to complain. Oh, it's by Kabushiki Gaisha. Eru. Eru, you need to do a better job gluing the grass onto your little figure. Next, I have a Tsum Tsum capsule, looks like. Looks like it's masking tape or washi tape. Oh, it's not a washi tape. It is um, just kind of a plasticky tape. But look at the designs. That's so cute. Marie, Minnie, Minnie. Cinderella, Cheshire Cat, and Donald, my favorite duck. That's super cute. I mean, this was super cute too. Just, it's shedding everywhere. Okay, what are you? Oh, and also Matsu-san figure. I was in Tokyo Station the other day and they were having a collaboration between also Matsu-san and Sanrio. It was super, super cute. I mean, I've never seen the anime, so. Oh, no, it's not super, super cute. <laughs> I do know that Osamatsan is a super popular anime though. Here's the lineup. So I got this little guy. The photo shows it as a phone topper. So it has a little stand. He's in a little bathtub, I think. Or it can be a phone topper because who wouldn't want this guy on their phone? I mean, maybe he's a really funny guy. I should probably check out the anime before I say mean things. Two more to go. This looks super cute. I see a little panda. Let's check it out. Oh no, this gut just cracked. I can't get it open. There we go. Oh, it's so cute. It's Mochi Mochi Panda. I love this character. It's so cute. So it's a little phone strap. Ta da! Oh, so it is a little rubber strap. It has a little bell on it so you can put it on your keys or your bag and it would make a little sound. And I think Lorian is reacting to the sound of this bell. She's running around the other room like a crazy dog. I think she thought it was one of the cats that runs around our yard sometime because they have bells on their collars. Okay, I've made a mess here, but we are on the last one and I see it says Cafe de Hamu. That makes me super excited because that means it is a hamster with food. Oh, it's the little waffle hamster. This one's so cute. This one is series three. I think I have the little popcorn strap, but I don't think I have the waffle. So this is super exciting because that is adorable. Okay, let me open this up and we'll take a look. All right then, here's the plate. Here is a piece of waffle. Here is another waffle. This one has chocolate sauce. And let's put this ah, all together. It's falling apart. There we go. And then a the little hamster to sit on top. And the hamster has a little mint leaf on its head. So cute. This one is definitely my favorite. So guys, I've created quite the mess here, but what did you guys think? The kakuyi crate or kawaii crate? For me, definitely the kawaii crate. I'm gonna link gotcha crate down below. You can check out their website, see if you are interested in what they have to offer. I think the kawaii crate is great. And I mean, I've only seen two of their crates. They have photos of their past crates. You can check them out and see if it looks like something you would be interested in getting in your mailbox because who does not want gotchas in their mailbox on a monthly basis? Anyway, a big, big thank you to Gacha Crate for letting me review their crates. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad that I got to review both the Kawaii and Kakoi crate. And I will see you guys next time. If you have any requests for future gacha videos, let me know because I'm going to be going on a toy hunt soon and I'll see what I can find. And I'll see you next time. Bye!